I have a maintenance topic today. Cowl screw maintenance. The screws wore out. They get sort of chewed up by screwdrivers. Here's an example. The screw on the left has been used too many times and needs to be thrown away. The right one is a brand new one out of the bag. And it's definitely a thing you have to do. The other day, I took the cowl off of this 150 for the first time since it's annual. There were definitely some screws that the shop had substituted in that I was slightly annoyed about. I started this replacement project because when I took the cowl off, the screws were mostly the countersunk ones like on the left and some washer and truss head screws like in the middle. But then one of the screws was a pan head screw like on the right, which is ridiculous. But some of them were just getting worn and I made an order from Aircraft Spruce. That order is here. So I'm going to sort of walk you around some of the things that I look at when I'm looking at my cowl screws. The Cessna 150 cowl splits in half. The upper half comes off. These uh, machine screws that screw into nut plates and sort of hold the two halves of the cowl together. Machine screws. Machine screw on the left as opposed to sheet metal screw on the right. And they have these sort of beveled big washers that spread out the force. These are number 10, and these smaller ones are number eight. And these in here are number eights as well. Number 10s on the main body of the cowl, except for this one, number eights on sort of the snout of the cowl, this front piece. Most of these are put into a thing called a floating nut plate, and you can see one right there. There's another one right in there. That's the back of this one. So my chore today is to swap in. I'm gonna take one of these out, one of those and one of those, and see if I can swap them in. Let's see, number eight, stainless steel washer, the proper screws of, uh, with the right thread and the right head at three different lengths. can see sort of inside there floating nut plate that it has to thread into. Nope, that is not long enough. Okay, I've got the next size up. Oh, that's barely long enough. That's fine. An R10, that's a five, that's 10 sixteenths or five eighths. And so it starts to grip right there. So that's, that'll be fine. Yeah, I can feel behind it with my finger. It's got plenty of clearance before it hits anything. Go all the way through the nut plate. Have a nice purchase. Oh, okay, nice and snug. Cool. So I did those, so that one, those two, and that one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Here are the ones that I'm about to put into those five locations. Post maintenance scan. That one is a little chewed up. Next time I come out here, I'm going to replace that. So I'll replace those two today. And that one. Oh, no, no longer pen. Next time I come out to the hangar, I will do a round of replacing the bigger screws because it looks like a few of them are sort of chewed up. But that's just one of the maintenance items you have when you own a small airplane. Hope you enjoyed that video. Take an active role in maintaining any vehicle you have, particularly your airplane. Keep your airplane in maintenance. Stay safe, stay current, and never stop figuring stuff out.